Step into a world of exquisite fragrances at Ghana's number one perfume hub. Visit us at Rack Luxury Perfume, located in Santa Maria, Asiama Junction, or find us in New Akimota, opposite Christ Redeemed Glory Church. Just a three-minute walk from Akimota Melcom, your journey to finding the perfect scent begins here. Whether you're shopping for yourself or looking for the perfect gift, we offer an extensive collection for both wholesale and retail. Proudly, we are the exclusive sole distributor for the luxurious Gloria perfume. Follow us on social media for the latest updates and exclusive deals. Find us on Instagram at rack underscore perfumes and on Snapchat and TikTok at rack underscore perfumes. Connect with us on Facebook at rack luxury perfumes and be the first to know about new arrivals. Reach out to us at plus two three three fifty nine four six one six one nine nine or WhatsApp at zero five nine eight six one two five nine two. Rack. Luxury perfumes. Smell unique, smell classy. Time is up for us to sit to discuss some of the stories making news in our airspace here when it comes to show business and entertainment. And Sammy Flex, as much as you have seen me here on this platform, it means I'm not here alone. I'm here with my people. This is obviously not the editorial PC, so I'm here with my people. Abbas Muiz is in the building already. Uh, who had to run from his meeting to join <laughs> the conversation. <laughs> Roland Amate is also at the extreme end. And as usual, when we sit like this, light minds, we talk show business. And that's exactly what we are about to do. So join us on this journey. In the next um, 45 to 1 hour, we'll be wrapping up. So everything will be done. Let me say thanks to Digital Rasta. He's also called Currency, who is doing our camera for us and Richie Flex is the editor director of the show and again thanks for choosing sami flex tv we want your contribution to the topics on board so why don't you feel free to also add a thing or two to what we are talking about and i would want us to start with something the ndc launched not long ago called the black experience as part of their policies for the creative arts industry here in ghana uh, the uh, NDC um, party led by His Excellency John Dramani Mahama has told us they are about to introduce something they call the Black Experience. And the Black Experience is actually a load of so many activities put together to make sure our art industry looks good. Uh, Richie might share a video or some stories for us. Let's go get that. And when I come back, ask my people, should we start jubilating already? Or... We should take our time and um, as you can see black richard there was a video i don't know if you want us to watch that video or you want us to read the story uh whichever one okay um uh, richie would want us to listen to um uh, the flag bearer for the national democratic congress president hey okay ex-president ex john dramani mahama industry okay. um, our arcing policy for the industry shall be the Black Star, and I have good news for the creative industry. Our overarching policy for the industry shall be the Black Star experience. And this will be geared towards boosting the tourism and creative arts sector. It will include the Pan-African Month, the Ghana Film Festival and Awards Month, 
the Ghanaian Heritage and History Month, the Fashion and Food Month, and the Diasporan Month. Additionally, we'll rehabilitate all our regional centers of national culture and make them available to the creative industry. We'll also support aging artists who currently, many of whom currently live in poverty. Well, so that was the policy read for the creative arts industry. And like I was asking my people, should we be high in arms jubilating over this already? Or we should take our time. So they have been shortlisted on your screens. Pan-African Month, a month dedicated to celebrating the rich cultural heritage of Africa, fostering unity and collaboration among African nations. Two, Ghana Film Festival and Awards Month, an event to showcase and honor the achievements of Ghanaian filmmakers and the broader film industry. Three, Ghanaian Heritage and History Month, a period to reflect on and celebrate Ghana's storied past and cultural legacy, and Fashion and Food Month, an initiative to highlight and promote Ghanaian fashion and cuisine, showcasing the country's creative talents. And again, the Diaspora Month, a time to recognize and engage with the Ghanaian di di diaspora um, encouraging their participation um, in national development and cultural exchange. This is for the creative arts. At least we have also been remembered. I know in some cases or in some areas we will not be mentioned at all, but here we have been captured. Should we be happy about this? Abbas, come through. Let me listen to you. Uh, Brother, I mean, we need to be happy, but we also need to be ready. Uh, <laughs> I like the rhyme. The you need to be happy, but you also need to be ready. ready. Yes, mm. one of the biggest problems with our people is that um, most of the time we are always, um, we are always, we are always mm. in um, in jubilation of mm -hmm. anything promised us. Okay, but m m most of the time we are not we are not ready mm -hmm. for the things we are supposed to be. Okay, um, you will see that. Um, actors are fighting with each other, mm -hmm. musicians are fighting with each other, mm -hmm. uh, creatives are always on loggerheads. Mm. Um, a few that they will give the opportunity to will take advantage of their own people, <laughs> and that will become our doom. Mm. We are we are very popular, but we are also very poor, mm. and that becomes our case. Our popularity becomes our case, uh, which we need to take a look at. And most of us also. Um, we have a lot of numbers in terms of the economy we are running. If the creative space is paid attention to, it 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 spreads in tentacles on a lot of people because a okay. project alone, a, a musical concert alone can actually hold over two thousand plus. A lot of the things they line up there. If it's happening every month, till from January to December, we'll get something to do. Okay. Because Panafest alone in Cape Coast, it makes. Cape Coast, Cape Coast, mm -hmm. and imagine one is done in this month, one is done in, in that region. We have sixteen regions, and okay. we have twelve months, okay. so all the regions can benefit, and all of it can intertwine in each other, and we will benefit. But I'm oh, the only question I'm asking myself: Would the people within the creative space, with the media space, mm -hmm. would they collaborate for? for the country to benefit, for themselves to benefit. Okay. Or they will just play the game where the politicians, after trying us one, two years, they will say that oh, they are jokers and they will just leave, leave us to our misery and we'll continue uh, wallowing. What I would say is that, look, if you are coming in this way, they should also target a lot of the boy. If, by the grace of God, um, it is the NDC that wins power. Mm -hmm. There are people who are within the MPP government now that are really doing well with what they are doing. True. And if you don't look at them from a political point of view, they can actually help you, especially with the diaspora agenda that the NDC want to take mm -hmm. on. They are mm -hmm. doing perfect job now. Okay. So extending them or adding them to your team won't spoil anything. There are other people too who are good in certain areas who are doing well. Okay. Then another question caution i want to give ndc is that they really assume one gentleman can do anything because okay. the mbb have tried that and it's not working for them mm -hmm. don't think the guy who speaks louder the loudest is the guy who has the brain or the action 
Okay. It may be just a talkative bank mm. without any bullet. Okay. Because MPP is experiencing it. Mm -hmm. It may be just an experience 20 million years in the industry. Mm -hmm. But still, but still the you, delivery can, will be zero. you can't pull anything. And okay. at the end of the day, your government will be judged by what you have delivered to the people. Fact. Will be judged by the experience that people are going to get. Fact. Will be judged by the impact on the people. And most of us are now are very descending. We won't we won't look elsewhere if you are giving us the best. If mm. NDC going to present this thing, then they are going to convince some of us. Why not give them their uh, our vote? Because at the end of the day, my vote is supposed to help me mm -hmm. and my livelihood to be better. Mm. It's not to impoverish me. And True. and it's not like a, a particular person is entitled to my vote. Because mm -hmm. I've realized that for the next four years, it is the person's life that he thinks about. Okay. So if there's a little the person can even do for me, not too much, we are not asking too much. If there's a little the person can do for me as a creative that I know I'll benefit, it will better my trade, mm -hmm. it will make my life more better, if not the best, at least an average survival I can compete averagely with all the people within the creative space in the global space. Why not? I'm willing to try that government. Okay. And I think from where they've started, when they say Black Star, the Black Star is a shining star across Africa. I hope that this their Black Star document will shine in our life as okay. creatives. And we, the creatives, will join forces together. We we'll don't now say, oh, when you are in power, when you this, when you that. And we'll use it to pull ourselves. The most funniest thing also is that when they all struggle for this power, those who are even the NDC people, mm. they now they themselves sabotage themselves. They now see that oh, as soon as I see now, or your wake a on the book, we are your wake a or you see, we are your wake a you know, that kind of thing. And that also pulls your energy down. That okay. also, that segmentation among you also brings the thing. So whilst they are fighting for it, I pray. Their, their, uh, their goals, their agenda is one. Mm. It's not any selfishness, it's not anything. And when they are going to select, I pray that God give them the vision, mm -hmm. the power, mm. the knowledge, the wisdom, and the understanding to select who will do the job, not who will talk the job. Okay. Well, I'm well, um, continue from there. When, when you ask your question should mm -hmm. we start jubilating mm. i was asking myself ah, what are we jubilating like because you guys have been giving some good policies we, we that they are about to roll out they're about to roll out yeah oh. if if it is with that then let's go and sleep mm. or if it is with that then let's go and sleep why why oh, yeah, say yeah, that yeah, yeah. if it is with that then let's go and sleep because um it, it is not only with this particular party or this particular government. Both parties that have ruled this country all have certain policies in their, uh, how do we call it, their manifesto mm -hmm. that are there, that they recycle each and every election year. Mm -hmm. And bring it, they just give it a different name and they bring it and present it to us. Mm -hmm. Of which about 80, 80 to 70 to 80 percent of them are pending. Mm -hmm. Even the 20 or the 10 percent that we even see them do self, it is not even up to completion. Mm. So why should we jubilate? In fact, if the thing is not happening, it's just like recently when I saw a video of um, uh, the national, I saw a video of, I think so, Chris Apple posted on his Facebook page, uh, the air conditions that yeah yeah the national yes, theater the has national received have received yeah i also saw it like the national theater has received about some six new air conditioners and, so. and you see the caption that he added to it he said for how many years have the air conditioning been in bar stage at, at the national theater for mm -hmm. over 16 years mm -hmm. for over that 16 years we've had two two different governments we've had two different governments mm -hmm. for that 16 years so if 16 years at least each government has served about eight years eight years mm -hmm. come on We've tested both. And if both governments were not able to give us air conditioning and we are now having it, then if they come and tell you, oh, we even bring God to come and perform at Ghana Music Awards, mm -hmm. just hold on. Why should you jubilate? Because you never know if that, that God that they are bringing to come and perform will come in your time or will come in your children's time. Mm -hmm. that, is, that is the hard truth. That is reality. As much as they may be juicy, and even the things that they are mentioning, 
no serious country would jubilate over some of these things when a politician lists these things as the things I would want to do for the industry. Come on. You want to do this and you, this, these are the things that you think you can use to convince people for their votes? These, these are basic things when it comes to creative arts. Mm -hmm. These are not things that the in that like these are not structures that is going to boost the industry in any set like to to that imaginary level that we are all thinking about these, these 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 are not these are basic That's things that that are already be uh, that are already in existence mm -hmm. if we are talking about uh, celebrating african heritage Ghanaian culture i mean currently as we speak friday is almost a national day of which many institutions or many companies they have the friday way of which they don the african print and all of that what is different from what they are they are saying and it is just the amplification of it nothing more nothing less these are things that are already in existence if we are talking about putting up a special day for celebrations how many holidays don't we have in our calendar? yeah yeah how many holidays don't we have we have the republic day we have the Kwame Nkrumah birthday, we have mm, what the by mm, Independence mm, Day. Mm, mm, Choose any of these days. The Independence Day is, is, is they are there. They are there. And which activities are happening? No, Nothing. None. Nothing. So if you would want to come with a different name to come and create a different thing and it is it is not even ongoing, you know, it is a promise that when you even get there, no, you, that is when you even think of whether you are going to do it or not come on why should we start jubilating now mm -hmm. in, in this modern day and age oh no it is it, we let's go and sleep this is it, i wouldn't even say it is too early for us to jubilate mm -hmm. we shouldn't even we there's shouldn't nothing even, to jubilate about there's nothing to jubilate about mm. because this is not the first time we are even hearing these things and if the creative arts people like people in the creative arts that were consulted to 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 help them in drafting things that will help the creative arts industry they go and it's sit down can. and they are able to list like give contributions and this is what they came out with and then our creative arts people that are representing us in in the political on the political table is there hey it's it's, it's getting scarier by the day mm -hmm. because i ask myself Pan African, what, what? If you, Ghana has, Ghana has a, how do we call it? Beyond the return or year of mm, return. We even have Panafest as well. Of course, Panafest is in existence. And even that oneself. How, how strong is your contribution even to Panafest? How mm -hmm. strong is it? It is already in existence. It is not something you are now coming to do. So all your policy should be about strengthening the already existing things. Let us know you have a mindset of continuity. That is one of our problems in this country. Mm -hmm. Somebody starts something and you think, okay, because the other government has done uh, beyond the return, I don't want to come and continue for them to come and say they started it or they brought so it. So I would also be forced of to do course. something. Go and start something else, then we just go back five years again, ten years again, and what will we be doing to ourselves? The, the problem of continuity is something that is lacking. Could you do it Panafest is not something new. It is already in the system. For how long has Panafest been in the, in, in the system? For years. It goes, comes, goes, comes. Sometimes it is being neglected. Then you see a group of people who just champion, get some small money, do one or two things, champion it. So if if we, we, we don't have the mindset of even continuing some of the good policies that are already in existence or some of the things that are going on, and we still want to even go and create new stuff to come and boost tourism in in Katrina focus world and we think we can just change names paint it in in a different color and come and present then let's go and sleep over. Wow. Yeah, people who are there in, in creative arts who are there in the NDC they are just event people so it's event content that they can create that's good well um we wish them well as a matter of fact in every aspect of the policies that they are able to implement i know it will go a long way to also benefit the whole industry as a whole any of the aspects that they're able to implement but we wish them well just that like everybody is saying we hope this does not also become another talk shop yeah. where we come and yeah, talk 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 no, talk course. and nothing comes i'm sure that is what is uh, the problem here and Rola, let me still ask you this mm. in today's music industry in ghana mm. when you still hear people complain about gamro how do you see them 
like yeah. Gambo is not paying me. Uh -huh. I, I'm feeling it has been overused. Like it, it is not. It has not been overused. It has not been overused. In fact, that now when I hear someone saying Gambo, I feel as a when in the You see, you see him that way, and even the truth of the matter is that the the number of artists that are even complaining about Gambo or that have been complaining about Gambo in recent or in in our space now will not even amount to about ten percent. They won't. If all the musicians are to complain about Gambo, mm -hmm. I swear they will be. It will be fixed. It is because majority of the musicians are not hungry. Mm. They are not. They are not hungry. No, 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 no. So I me, mean, if I see somebody complaining about the fact that okay, they they've not gotten anything from from Gambo, I say okay, maybe it is either you are getting hungry at a certain quarter, or you are now seeing, you you are now seeing the business of what you are doing. Like you are you are now. You, you've now been enlightened on what you are supposed to do and what you are supposed to get. Mm -hmm. Yesterday's discussion, when one of during one of the topic, I said that in certain systems, you the moment you are famous, the system already has an automatic ma a room for you, machinery yeah. for you to start recouping something. Mm -hmm. But here, it is manual. Even mm -hmm. if you would have, to, even if you want to register for Gambro now, you have to go and take paper, mm -hmm. paper and pen mm -hmm. today in today twenty twenty four. Mm -hmm. It is still mm. manual. It is still manual. And that is the sad part. So when I hear musicians, actually, and, and if it is a veteran or somebody that has been in the game for a long time, I see popular, the only thing I see is popular but broke. Okay. That's the only thing that rings in my mind, popular but broke. Mm. Because mm. It, is, it is sad. It is sad. And when I hear them or I see them complain like that, I ask myself, okay, what are you going to do about it? Because as for the complaint here, we've been complaining, like you said, from time memorial. Soon, 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 soon. But nobody seems to have a solution to it. In fact, even the chairman of that organization is telling you that he has no solution for you. <laughs> yes, the chairman has said it. Whether yeah. directly or indirectly, he has told yeah. you he has no solution for you. Else, he wouldn't even say he will not encourage his children to do music. Mm -hmm. Because when his mm -hmm. children come to do music, they will come and suffer the same consequences you are suffering. Yes. They will come and cry the same cry you are crying, and they, he doesn't want his children to come and cry the same way. Mm -hmm. So, same, so he's telling you directly or directly that he doesn't have any solution for you. Okay. So, if the people that are in the helm of affairs don't have solution for us, Charlie, we are doomed. This, this, this industry, about fifty percent or half of the things that we do here are operated manually. Mm -hmm. If you have a oh, if you have an automatic system of you recouping something, then it means your links are tied to a certain quarter, which is international. Mm. That is when you see somebody signed to maybe an international record label somewhere, or maybe somebody is signed to a publishing company somewhere, and or maybe somebody has been able to connect to his streaming platform so tight, and they are getting all and all these ones. How many of them do we have a stake here in Ghana? Mm. All of them are outside. All of them are international. In the same way, my partner can say, "Oh, who pays the You automated music money. Forget you will not get. All is manual. So, and the manual, if you you don't wake up to go and activate it, forget. Um, uh, the, so uh, your friend saying, Joe Frazier mm -hmm. is the one complaining, right? Mm -hmm. He's the one saying he's not gotten anything. For exactly. That. No problem. I ask myself, okay, so what is his also the demand that he's made from Gamma? What is his approach to the whole situation? It is not just about complaining. As for the complaint, you can complain. But are you a member? How is your contribution towards that organization? Because the last time I even heard somebody like Shatawali speak, he is ever ready to even have consultations, conversation of, of even how he can also use his popularity to help and uh, get some of these things to help the organization but have they been able to approach him or his team in any way no mm -hmm. you understand and these are some of the conversations that i ask artists okay today black sheriff is not complaining because he's not he's hungry. satisfied oh, he's, he's he's not hungry well maybe ah kiddy have, have you heard kiddy talk about gamro no have you heard kwamidin talk about no we are we are not hungry right now if the boy is not thinking about gamro mm -hmm. you understand but at a point when they realize, hey, so all these years I could have even gotten maybe a million dollars yeah. from, from this side, yet 
it is all over. It, it is just gone. Look at how these guys' songs are being played on radio. They are being played on TV. How, what do they get from it? Nothing. 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 So me, when I, when I see artists complain like that, I go again to ask, okay, now that you are complaining, yes, we've heard your complaint. In fact, you are not the only first person or you are not the only person to complain. Mm. What is your uh, form of solution to the whole problem? Because the problem, we all know the problem. The problem, everybody knows the problem. But mm -hmm. the solution is what, or the implementation of the solutions on board. Is what they are struggling to get. what we are all struggling to get. There are certain people that have even um, offered themselves their services to Gamro to help rectify some of the situations and all of that. And how did the conversation go? And no one needed to hear. And no one needed to hear. So when I hear people complain like that, I go like, okay. You too, you are seeing, you are, you are feeling pains now. Okay, let's wait for the next person that will feel pains. Because as far as I'm, we are concerned, everybody is crying. Nobody is ready to even sacrifice. Yeah. Because the people know that if they sacrifice, they may not even be the people to benefit today. Mm -hmm. So nobody is ready to sacrifice. Nobody, including the people who are even in the helm of affairs. <laughs> I see. Well, um, I'm asking this question because Joe Fraser, after so many years of rapping, um, doing his thing in our music industry, has said that I haven't received royalties um, from Gamro since I started music. And this is where I get a little disappointed. How can Joe Fraser say I haven't received royalties from Gamro since I started music? Big Joe Fraser. And uh, let me see if I can read the story. It says, about um, about two decades of plying his trade in the music space, Ghanaian rapper Big Joe Fraser says he has not gotten any money from the Ghana Music Rights Organization Gamura's royalties. In an interview on Daybreak Hits with DJ Slim, the rapper revealed that despite registering with Gamro many years ago, he has not received any royalties from the organization. It says, they gave me an ID card and collected all my songs and registered me five months ago, he said. Big Joe Fraser, who has been in the music industry for about 20 years, expressed his frustration, stating that he has not received any payment from Gamro, despite his efforts and follow-up. And follow he recalled registering with the organization, but his name is no longer in their, uh, in their system. And I'm asking, okay, so Ro, hmm. you were talking about sharing here and there but even today if you are to really share um big joe fraser mm -hmm. what would be his share <laughs> uh, uh, what would be his share because um we are still talking about those who are having rotation here and yeah. there joe fraser after 20 years you said you just now registered with gamro just somewhat six months or five that's months ago exactly my point. That, that's why i'm thinking when people start coming out to speak like this Sometimes, as much as Gamro is not functioning 100%, uh, I also feel they have also been irresponsible. Of course, that's what I'm saying. When you come out to complain, when you come out to come and cry, you have been very responsible. I, I ask myself, okay, so what is also your contribution, whether to the problem or to the solution? Most of the times, you go, you, you go to the background and you realize that, Charlie, these people have not, assigned, have not even assigned their right to, to uh. the organization, yet, yet, they they go to other jurisdiction assign their rights to them and they are collecting mm. but when they come to ghana they will not do same they will sit and expect gamro to magically conjure money or collect money and come and give it to them simply because they are musicians mm. it doesn't happen that way mm. it doesn't it doesn't work that way if you are collecting money from maybe which whichever organization outside our, our jurisdiction did you just did they just bring you the money because you're a Ghanaian musician okay did they just bring you the money because your song is being played in, a, in their country no they don't it is because you have assigned your right to a certain institution there and that is why you're giving them the right for them to collect money for you mm. but most of them will sit in the country and because abia shatawale stoneboy who sakode who are members when they are crying and they also cry so okay abbas you it was your time mm -hmm. This you is you there. We will talk, uh, it won't finish. Mm -hmm. uh, when the one you are following is collecting two CD. You there. 20 mm -hmm. pesos. So the one you are following is collecting mm -hmm. two CDs. 20 pesos. Now, now, when you 
that's that's the deficiency of our of our industry and to the lot of contributors of the problem those who are supposed to be the administrators of these artists who are supposed to be the managers of these artists literally as of now because they, they feel the artists are doing well and they are collecting for outdoor jurisdiction they literally do not care and do not want to care about how this thing work majority mm -hmm. of them maybe remember gamro music when they are traveling mm -hmm. when they face mm -hmm. this issue out mm -hmm. there and they need letter that's when they remember yeah right they behave as if they are not Ghanaians, they are not part of ghana um we know gamro have issue but you see we are all supposed to be here to help mm -hmm. and a lot of them are free mm -hmm. they are running away from the problem thinking that by doing so they've solved the problem mm -hmm. the problem will not solve itself the next one I have is that Gamro itself is not trying hard to PR itself. The okay. few that are left that are understanding what Gamro is all about and they are trying to put their head together to do Gamro now are doing politics with Gamro. They are doing NDC, MPP. And they no, that should not be their role. Yes. They shouldn't even be talking, involving actively in politics. Mm -hmm. Their service is to their creative space, and they are, they they whole has that because I'm not sure they want anybody that holds what is vital to them to be playing with it. Mm -hmm. It's like we give somebody a steering to drive the three of us somewhere, and the person is driving carelessly, <laughs> driving carelessly, mm -hmm. careless driving, or wanted driving, or or say we are not saying you need to help him. No, catch your ear. What is that? Say yes, if class is with Timu. Now with Timu, who are we going to? But class theory, no. The way we saw no so can can him. And now here, here Timu, the story of you make catch your say child, you are no. Child, you are no. Ni a Timu, a boy, a G A, or Kokuyo. Now make a can. Now yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout out to you, man. Yeah, yeah. Shout out to you, man. You know, people want to see the G. Onu, abai no ajina asai no no person di eni na onu obai wi eni na aso person di eni na we yet dem kwa watch up yo watch up yo because we nu yet na ti ebo nu se no hu ye ni we be meet and no matter what we go collect we oh gosh and they don't make those calculations sometimes I wonder when I sit with them and they talk and like, I ask myself, which planet or which generation are these people coming from? Because it looks like, sorry to say, they don't use their brains. Mm. Like, they are just not calculating now and the yes. future. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You get it? Because how will you hold my life? Because, you see, this thing boils down to how even it helps our economy. So how will, let's say, how will any political party or any government see that creatives are serious? Actors get air punto. Music like a cry is like a Omudu Amu Cocot. Gamro Kakra about quality. I have also Omu quality radio Kakra, we are waiting. Ah, they are announcing three billion dollars. Two billion share. Obit is a who will be a wolf renew three billion to be free of bad. Oh, five serious. We are skinny. Why do they think the industry is serious? Industries who, who do manufacturing of things, why, they, why do they take importers serious? We have Ghana importers, one, 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 one. Yeah, association. They, are, they talk with confidence. Mm, because yeah. they know what they are bringing Yes. Out. But this country, we that we sell the country, we that we expose the country, we that we enable and help everybody to do whatever they We can't. That's why we'll go to court and we will lose. Because we can't put numbers to it. Mm. When you go to court and you tell somebody, okay, based on this thing that I did, you need me as an advertiser, as this, as that. It's not just internally in the country, outside the country, and the border of outside. The... Okay, now we are losing another argument on the internet space that we have. If you enter into our space, you can search anything. Just mm -hmm. go to why here. Enter there, just cross the border. Just cross and go to their to any of their town and go go. Or search anything Ghanaian, it will what it will block you and will provide you an Ivorian alternative. Hey. First, so mm. majority of our people mm. that were at the African Cup of Nations, mm -hmm. what is that? 
of a BBM bro, the IP will not just so how are we we don't even complain about that, we don't even guide it. So how will government make the money? How God collect the money? How are we as the people who have it? These are the conversation that government needs to be bringing on our on our table. Charlie Minister of Information, Mumbai, Minister of Digital, who yes say, we say, yeah, because the boy, tenancy, welfare system. Mm -hmm. The actors, the musicians who are popular are begging for hubs. Mm. You manager, you P, you uh, cameraman, you we. There are always times too. We we problem are times too. We go call him. We are the team. We are busy shatawale. We are just busy. 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 We are I don't ask for the name of one bed, I say, oh, no, no, popular. Angel, what are they doing? Ah, okay. Okay. I thought you said in the midst of other musicians. No, 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 no. no. He's okay. talking about the musician and his and their team members. Um, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Well, I, I get it. I get it. Um, sometimes I only wish that in every industry that you try to become a part of, get education about the operations. Mm. That is what I'm trying to say. So when, as, as you are watching now, if you want to be part of any industry, please take your time and understand how the industry works. So that nobody will now come and be directing you here and there. Because for me, Joe Fraser, after so many years of doing music, if Joe Fraser is not telling us that for the past six months, that was when he started chasing his um, um, gamble royalties, then I will be disappointed in him. After 20 years, even if you have some money there, it is gone. And at this time, Jeffries, I'm sure you know your position in the music industry at this time. Yeah. At this time, you don't have money at Gamble like that. The time you had money, you did not pay attention. And I still think that everybody should be deliberate about their job. Stop being just anything. Yes, they should be intentional about their job. Get the requisite information so that in the near future, you don't come and disturb anybody. I know this might come out as a little disappointing to some people, but Charlie, reality is reality. Don't live careless lives and later blame people for your own carelessness. That is not done. Now, let's move on to another conversation that I know you would want to be a part of. And I know this conversation was put on our um, group page on uh, WhatsApp by Roland Amate. And it's talking about Benna Boy and uh, Still Pulse and whatever is happening there. Richie, do you want uh, to read or you want? Uh, okay, it says Bernard Boy's demands cause disrespect to legendary reggae band Still Pause at Summer Jam Festival. This is where Stone Boy also performed mm -hmm. there. Oh, okay. Uh, it says Bernard Boy's demands cause disrespect to legendary reggae band Still Pause at Summer Jam Festival. And um, let me see if I can kill the issues raised on the screen. One after the other. Um, which you close them up small because some of the tests. Okay, this. Okay. It's like the question of whether it's a good thing for few to fuse reggae festivals with non reggae music has been on my mind for a while now. And today I got my answer. I always try to post positivity only, but this has to be recognized. Whether Bernard Boy himself was aware of his bangarang, I, I don't know. This might be a management thing, but even then, Nigerian artists have to speak up. You can't bully other artists at a festival. Now, this is the problem. Um, he's giving us the intro. Now, let's go to the body. After posting two Bernard Boy pictures on the World Reggae Instagram account, guitarist David Electric, this is not lead singer David Hintz, of the legendary Steel Pulse, came into the comments under the picture with a statement that shocked us to our core. Of course, I did see the barricades and security backstage. And of course, I felt the change of vibe before the arrival of Nigerian artist Bernard Boy. But I didn't foresee this to happen. The comment stated, At Bernard Boy and security crew fully disrespected us that is still post official, trying to kick us out of our dressing room. So he could have four dressing rooms for his massive entourage. <laughs> I like his massive entourage. <laughs> uh, Seren Brown, keyboard's original member of Steel Pulse, 
was livid and our team stood our ground and told them to beat it and you can't do that to people especially to a band that has paved the way for reggae music it is summer jam festival official why do you have a full security team that think they can come in and bully people who the hell does Benna boy think he is and because of us refusing to leave the security men proceeded to build a barricade of a blacked out chain linked fence that split the hallway between our dressing room and his dressing room making it feel like we were in prison or something i hope that these legendary reggae festivals realize that this can't be a part of reggae culture that's babylon business we don't treat people like that please recognize this because steel pulse was fully disrespected reggae promote peace love unity stand up for your right we must never give up the fight i wholeheartedly agree with david's statement it is widely known that Bernard boy demands for a show are extraordinary i fully understand that the summer jam festival did everything possible to meet here these high high demands as they should according to contract however an artist disrespecting one of the biggest legendary reggae bands who paved the way for black musicians is completely unacceptable as a world re a reggae i am compelled or i felt compelled to write this short article because this is precisely why this platform exists to preserve and promote reggae music in all its forms <laughs> Why do I feel like I've seen many of this <laughs> thing they are talking about? <laughs> so there has not been, there has not yet been a counter statement from Bernard Boy's management. There are always two sides to a story. The Summer Jam organization has been asked for a statement on this matter, but we haven't received a reply as of yet. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> like I'm saying, it feels like I've seen many of these uh, happenings but as the yeah. story has captured and it is simple just the just ended um how do we call it summer jam show bernard boy was built to perform alongside other performers including the legendary reggae band still pause and according to still pause while they were in their dressing room some security men came trying to walk them out of the dressing room because according to them bernard boy alone needed about four dressing rooms he alone and his massive entourage. They needed about four dressing rooms. Again, when they came there and they said, no, we are not going out. But I have some questions. Had they finished performing or they are yet to perform? That one was not too clear. And they said they were not going out. They said security men used some barricades to barricade the one, the room Bernard Boy used indirectly Okay, you guys, you guys cannot come out to even pass in front of Bella Boy's dressing room. <laughs> we are preventing every shit from passing in front of <laughs> Bella Boy's dressing room. And this still post band, they feel highly disrespected over this act. And I'm asking that. We are all handlers of talent. In the story here, be it for or against us, how would we have handled this? Abbas? <laughs> whether it was for you, as in whether you were the Bernard, you were part of the Bernard Boy team mm. who needed this, or you're part of the still uh, post team Forested. that needed to open way for Bernard Boy, <laughs> how would you have handled this? Okay, so let me state four first. Mm -hmm. Four, um, these are the things I will ask myself. Did I make request of four? dressing room ahead of time mm -hmm. from organizers okay did i state the reasons why i need four rooms mm -hmm. um my artists needed four room they should be because when they keep on saying better boy alone better boy alone better boy is not alone better mm -hmm. boy is with a band mm -hmm. they also have a band yes mm -hmm. i'm saying they they are the band mm -hmm. there's it's two different things me you you artist band then you artists bandsmen and mm -hmm. all those stuff mm -hmm. it, there's different oh, the difference yeah the difference is that um you are performing as them as a headliner you have your costume blah 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 and my team also mm -hmm. do same as i as i am mm -hmm. and anytime i'm going somewhere majority of the people skip 
all the people that are with me as performers mm -hmm. and they focus on just only me mm -hmm. as the performer mm -hmm. so they forget that i better boy when i come in when i come with some bands actually do not come with dancers okay because they have their band raising their guitar da, 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 da. Boy, Scott, i hear they are massive ones. yes better boy yes. have squad of dancers pvs alone no yes, squad of pvs mm. squad of musicians drummers mm -hmm. guitarists blah mm -hmm. blah blah and so forth and he also have squad of beauties mm -hmm. um, yes, um, you know check it be a bam bam they are not dancers they are not influencers they are not um, 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 um. Mm -hmm. Before all these people need to be made up, all these people need to be costumed, and you don't expect that it's one person that will costume Ben Aboy, that okay. will costume all these. Within the band, you need at least about three or four costumers, three or four makeup artists, three or four designers, and so forth. Mm -hmm. So when you put a team together, Ben Aboy alone can be working with as huge as fifty people. Mm, that's what a uh, person said. Yes. <laughs> Massive. So, as me, the manager, so where this is where I question my work. Mm -hmm. Did I make requests ahead of time? Did I make requests that challenges are at least? And uh, each one of us will fill into the room. Better boy, as a person, as the star, this one. With his manager, his PA, is makeup artist, is social media person because we need to create content and all those other mm. stuff. So he alone also is not just alone because you can't tell his manager can't be there with him. You can't tell that his PA can't be there with him. You can't say his uh, costumer can't be there with him. You can't say his sound engineer can't be there with him because they will do sound check. Somebody needs to check back for him. Somebody needs to do this to do that. Somebody needs to wear him in here and all those stuff. So at what stage do we do that? It's backstage that we do that. That's why we have backstage. Mm. Then now you come to all the people. Don't forget that all the people, the one who do the drum, need to be wet, whatever, need to be checked. So they also have. So you may say, okay, a better boy team. We have four sound engineers. We have the lead who checks the artists, who make sure that. But we have others also who go and check the BVs, who go and okay. check the drummers, who go and do all these things. These are technical men. They are part of the repertoire. Yeah. They're part of the work that we are doing. They're part of the artist entitlement. Yeah, ent ent so when you check it from that side, you understand that this is an heaviness of it. So it comes also with a cost. That's when a lot of people don't understand. When okay. you call an artist and they say charge one million, they say, hey, they don't want one million. <laughs> By that one million is every load on 50 people or 55 people. Mm. It's every load mm. on mm. the welfare of 50 people. Mm. It's every load on the costume of 50 people. Mm. It's every load on all of them. And all of them to don't don't take cheap because that's something the moment they say you are a manager a pa or this of better boy let them call me even road manager of uh, better boy okay or Ghana manager of better boy okay my family members their demand will change <laughs> even the boss i will play the sadaka they will ask me will change mm. everything will change a fair tree yeah, it will change even the uh, the Ghanaian media engagement it will change you get it so that should be understood where i look at it is that the manager could have made prior request then again as you ask the the legends and um, is the manager even aware or the head of security aware that these are legends mm -hmm. did was there proper writings mm -hmm. also did they finish performing before they were sucking they, they were approaching them sometimes it's not suck some people just feel like who is this I've ah, seen so they were sucking them yes. they don't know who no. they are. No, no, not the uh, security. Mm -hmm. The performers themselves. You know, mm -hmm. for example, I don't know how to put it, but some people are old glory. And they feel that the new glory, who is he? Yeah, the NBA coin. And who no ban and who yeah, say. You get that kind of thing. The kind of attention that we used to get, you are not giving to them. I always say that artists are always like women. Mm -hmm. When you have a first wife and a second wife is coming. There's a way they look at it. The second wife will be enjoying that. Until third wife will come, then the second wife and oh, the first wife will be the same together. <laughs> then they'll be acting the same. So if you've been on the field where there are legends, so you, the manager, smartly, or the head of security, who is smart, will approach them, will talk to them properly. We say, oh, legends, this is but we beg of you. The uh, better boy himself. I've done several. Where I make sure the lead artist himself. Or maybe Chiao or New Bay, you know. Mm. Then, uh, then you will say he is the one resting in your room. You see, they will live there because they need that 
yemmo mu o pain in same level that is what they just did now if it's against me i'm the management of the legend mm -hmm. i all i the when the security man just walk to us or they approach us i ask them please verify with the, uh, okay. with the organizers this is our allocated space we'll be grateful if you leave us in peace when we are done in using the place we'll leave for you surely we have an hotel room that we can move from here we have not finished our performance or we have finished our performance we are packing out or after our performance we are sure that this is our permanent space throughout the entire festival mm -hmm. so please allow us to use our space don't do any other thing if they go beyond i pull i let my I pull up i pull up um a camera or something pull up the plug and 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 you know we show up if we're still supposed to perform i say let's go this is a free show Let's go, let's go, let's go. Glenn Coffee Crab because they've paid for us and we are not going to perform <laughs> for abusing our rights. Then again, we also go back to the uh, the organizers. Nice okay. pull up, nice write up like this. We write it and we send to them. Also, we can allow it to go like this and use something like this to also help our name. Mm. At least for the for the first mm. time, some people are getting to know the legendary days. The still legendary pause, yeah. So the still post the Gen Z. The millennials, the people who are not reggae normal people, mm, they wouldn't they know. Would do, yeah. But now they get to know. So it's also a good PR mechanism, and it's good that I can do this okay. for the good of the business. I see. Oh, mm. how would you also handle this? <laughs> yeah, like you said, you've seen plenty. Many, many past this yeah, one. I bet you like. <laughs> 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 we, we, like you see that the the it is an interesting conversation because um, if you are for Tim Bena boy. Forget everybody. Mm. It is your principal first. He is more important than everybody. Than everybody. And I can understand them. In all this misunderstanding, I think the people that will be able to clarify the whole situation is the organizers. Mm -hmm. Still, Pauls are angry. Yes, they would overreact because it is not the organizers that disrespected them. Mm -hmm. Or maybe disrespected them, quote unquote, directly. Yeah. But I can tell them that that disrespect is from the organizers, not in Benapur. From the organizers? Uh, of course. Why do you think so? So so this is what it is. You know, if an artist gives a rider, or mm -hmm. an artist and their team gives a rider, mm -hmm. most of the times, what happens is that if an artist is demanding about four dressing rooms like Benna Boy did, and his team did and i know of which they will demand even more ah of course yeah, can't so sometimes <laughs> the organizers pay their own budget scheduling and everything would also want to cut yeah, certain yeah. corners okay so maybe in the calendar or in the planning of the organizers they they assume that as at the time Benna boy and Centuraj would arise uh, arrive maybe that team still pause may not Damn. be around or may be done with whatever it is mm -hmm. but the conversation between the organizers and still pause is what probably yeah. might have kept them there if that is even when they are done performing the conversation that they have because sometimes you go to event grounds and organizers tell you this is your space whatever you do here is for you whatever you do here nobody has access to this place Mm. And they will not give you whether it is for the whole day, whether it is for during the, your performance your, your time, set, yeah. your set in Kwa or whatever. Mm. They tell you. So even if an artist is done performing and would want to rest a bit before they vacate the whole premises, you never know. And this is a communication that sometimes organizers don't make clear. Mm. So even if still uh, team still pause were done performing, it is some of these conversations that will still keep them there. Mm. You understand? Mm. Because I, I think they were done performing. Exactly, because they've been told this is your space. This is your space. And per whatever demands that Bernard Boy and his team also made, on arrival, they were told this place is for you. And you see, I don't blame the security also that much because it is their job to do it. Mm. This is security we are talking about. Yeah. And you can be peeped at Bernard Boy and his security guys. But I tell you, let the table stay, you would understand. If the table stay, I don't condone perhaps the disrespect that was probably meted out to them. That I will not support. But then, I believe there is a miscommunication because in all this, in all this conversation, I'm asking myself, okay, there will definitely be a liaison that will 
lead Timbeba boy to wherever their space is allocated. Mm. Mm. And that liaison will be from the organizers. Yes. So who was in charge us at that time? The girls manager. Who allowed this particular situation to happen? To happen. Where did that miscommunication come from? That had to that Team Bena boy had to go and encounter Team Steel Pulse. Because under normal circumstances, until until these people hear that, oh, as soon as he is here and I would want to go and meet him or say hello or say hi, they are not even supposed to like they are, yeah, they have yeah, yeah, yeah. no business together. Mm, you understand? Mm, In mm. reality, they have no business together. At least it is it is it is a show. And we are there to also socialize as well. Come and work and go. But it is come and work and go situation. So where did the miscommunication come from? That's what I'm saying. In all this, I will not blame Tim Bernard Boy. Because his security, Charlie, it is their job. They are trying to secure their principal by any means necessary. For Tim Steel Pulse, it is their space. And they also want to feel as comfortable as they would be. Or as they've been promised. Mm -hmm. So nobody can come and bully them and say, hey, get out. No. It will not happen. Mm. So in all this, I will blame the organizers or the liaison or the person in charge as at that time. Who was the one communicating mm. to these two teams that they had to go and confront each other? Mm. Because okay. if there was... And they allowed security men to even go and exactly. do that. Exactly. So assuming they also had that higher so up security level like mm -hmm. Bernard mm -hmm. Boyd. Mm -hmm. Of course, there, there, would have, there would have been a huge conflict. There would have been a huge commotion. And you think they are security people who also sit down for better boy and to bully team them to bully them or build that chain to maybe block them or, or something? They wouldn't. You build it, they will remove it straight away, and mm. nobody would understand, and it will cause commotion. Mm. And all of this is as a result of miscommunication from the organizers to these two parties. Okay. That is the that is the main point. That's why you think the blame should go to exactly, the organizers more. Exactly. So the the two people here, everybody is operating within their own right. Okay. Still pause are angry and I understand. It is their space. Somebody is trying to encroach. They understand. They fight back. Yes, yeah. Bernard Boy and his team also have been promised a certain space and they're also trying to fight for it. Pre uh, securing their principal. It is understandable. Everybody is operating within their own right. But the person that is supposed to calm situations down and explain the whole thing to these two parties were are, are the organizers. And who was the one in charge? Who was doing that communication? Who was ex doing that explanation to these two people? It is the reason why we have this. So, still for us, they are, I know they are angry at Bernabo and his team. Well, I, I will tell them to calm down and should rather channel a chunk of their anger to the organizers because if the organizers don't allow some of these disrespects will not come no. to them. Well, we have to all seek justice for <laughs> still force because this is something that they are not too happy about knowing their status in the music industry globally, knowing that they've even paved the way of carved the way for some of these young cats to also come and benefit from it. They feel highly disrespected, and mm. I don't know how this will be resolved between them and the organizers. But once again, we are watching closely if there is going to be any form of uh, redress of this whole issue so nobody will go al 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 out there painting Benna boy as the arrogant artist or painting him as the artist with no disrespect to with no respect to um yeah, elderly yes. people or the legendary people this is a little worry when i saw it i said well it calls for a conversation now the last story before we run away from here when the numerous gospel musicians who profess their love for Shatawali are seen talking about it, should we take them serious or we should see them as these are people who are also tapping into the numbers of the gentleman? Because on every platform that gospel is discussed, ask them if they would want to do anything secular. And one name that would come out of their mouth is um shatawale when they are asked oh how do you know oh i love him he's like this he's like that he's like that he's like that today after watching this particular video for uh, him and mercy i'm beginning to ask myself that ah is it real love that they have for the gentleman or sometimes yes, it is be, ah, that, like a has said <laughs> it is tapping time they just want to tap him what is the reality? I was, we are closing. Finish this. Yeah, bros, I mean, um, I think they are musicians, first of all. Mm. First, I think we will have to watch the video. Sorry about that. Let's watch the video, and when we come back, you will take it from there.
then I have that free mind okay. because the understanding of gospel music. Mm -hmm. And then I have that free mind okay. because the understanding of gospel music mm -hmm. and hip life artists is is different altogether in our religion, mm -hmm. especially in our Christian mm -hmm. religion. So do you, you you're not supposed to j joke with that. Okay, okay, I, I get it. Because in an interview, Joe Metal mentioned that he wouldn't do it. And of course, okay. That's the truth. Okay. If I can't get them into mm -hmm. my kingdom, mm -hmm. then there is no way doing it. No need. Okay. Mm -hmm. so, so talking about um, concerts, performances, mm -hmm. and all that, mm -hmm. let's take it for example. Mm -hmm. Someone like Shatawali calls mm -hmm. you, oh, hey, mom, this is your song. It hits here. <laughs> it's right there. So please, can I add you to mine? Do you know I love Shatawali so much? Mm -hmm. The reason is, is, is his... He has some kind of energy, energy, and you you can't take Shatawali mm -hmm. out of everything. Mm. You understand? Mm. He has built his own empire, mm -hmm. and for me, mm -hmm. I remember when he he came out with this song. Um, I know my level. Mm. <laughs> I preached with it. Oh. Because if you know your level mm -hmm. in the Lord, mm -hmm. nobody can bring you down. Yeah. So he he has some kind of songs mm -hmm. that he he put out there mm -hmm. that encourages mm -hmm. a lot. Mm -hmm. And for me, he comes out with songs that speaks to your soul. Okay. And to give you that mm -hmm. kind of mm -hmm. edge to mm -hmm. move on. So for me, Shatawale now is the if you <laughs> so, so she was the right talk about Shatawale, not even understanding yeah, that yeah, what yeah. question was asked. Yeah. Hey, Charlie. Now, what's it say? What's it a business law? Yeah, business law. <laughs> okay, so what is business love? Business love is the love that there is money in <laughs> any you show the love, the love will be shown to you. Uh -huh. Because you will get followership, you will mm. get money ship, mm. you will get kingdom ship. Mm. All the sheep will follow you, and uh, it's as simple as that. Mm -hmm. oh. Okay, sorry about that. Sorry about that. that. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. Forgive me <laughs> for my code. Uh, code uh, no right. I know. Sorry about that. Okay, yeah. So you can you can yeah, wrap up. Yeah. So I'm saying um, it's simple. Mm -hmm. It's it's kingdom business. So people need to understand it. Okay. There's supposed to be a business and there's supposed to be a kingdom. Mm -hmm. So, so far as she knows Shatawali have the numbers, the clouds, at least because of Shatawali, we are talking about her here. Mm -hmm. If it's not, we won't even talk about her, not the presenter, none of them. So she's benefiting from it. Okay. Again, she's an ardent follower of Shatawali. At least she knows her level. Yeah. And she's mm -hmm. trying hard to tap into another level to be able to increase. Mm. For the love, I think she has explained clearly to all of us the kind of love she's showing mm -hmm. and the kind of love she needs. Um, it is not bad. Unlike others who are hypocritical about it, she has been clear about it. Mm -hmm. She she wants to do something with him. Okay. She understands what he does and she says it very clear. He speaks to the soul of the people. And I'm sure for um, her to get the people to the kingdom of God, she needs to tap into their soul. Okay. Because it is actually the soul of the people that is going to the kingdom of God, mm -hmm. not their body. Okay. Their body yet will remain on this head. Okay. And for their soul, it will transcend beyond. Mm. So, I will believe that she sees him as the qualified candidate. Okay. To help gain more souls to the kingdom of God, and mm. if by in the way of getting people to the kingdom of God, if money is coming, oh la la, it's good. Money is good even for the those who fear god mm -hmm. for imagine you are in love with god you are sure of heaven and you are also sure of goodness on this head so it's fun nobody stops you from buying the best of things the good of the world because it's god who actually created it exactly. and god creates you as human beings to enjoy in his kingdom and if god is blessing you it should surely reflect on you from here yeah so um i don't see it as anything bad mm -hmm. um, i just want all of us to be clear mm -hmm. about be um, being business and also being righteous and also trying to refrain because a lot of them 
most of the time try to run away from the money part of the business okay. which i feel they shouldn't shy off mm -hmm. because you see you can't even go and preach properly if you have not eat well mm -hmm. you can't even preach to some people if you have not dressed well mm. you can't even get the strength to go if you are not sure of where you are going to sleep true and all these are true money no money no survival mm. Mm. Uh, oh. mm. let's wrap up when, when real love or what our boss is calling business love for me i see real love i see i see real love you know and i am mostly when it is i only see real love from the person speaking okay you know for for people who profess their love like this it is because they've broken the status quo okay like she said in her earlier submission there is this kind of um barrier hovering around the christian community or christians mm -hmm. for that matter or the gospel space mm -hmm. of which you dare not cross mm -hmm. it is an invisible line it is there but it is invisible but when you cross it becomes visible <laughs> yes you feel the heat it mm -hmm. is nobody is seeing it too but the moment you cross that line everybody will tell you you've crossed that line mm -hmm. that's how it is and that line is you crossing carpet to either collaborate with people that are not in that circle okay and that is that that is that particular line of which he made reference to joe metal joe metal knows the repercussion of him crossing that line mm -hmm. and he will not like it so he will not even come and profess his love for any of them nor even cross carpet to even collaborate with them mm. he knows he's he's made his stance clear there are others that have also said that also hold the same stance with your metal. Mm -hmm. They won't. They will not do it. Forget whatever money you are bringing. Mm. Your metal has sat called the air and other secular artist in his idea, mm -hmm. of which he has not responded. And he said it openly that there are numerous of them. So the moment he does for one person, the others will follow. And the others will also have weapons to come against him. Okay. So he will not even touch on one. Mm. So when people come like this to even say it, call for it, then it means to them they've broken that genes from their mind. Mm. For them to say that, Charlie, whatever the repercussions may be, I will still love to do it. Mm. They are going beyond the insults that they will get from their own people. Mm -hmm. They are going beyond that hate that probably they will get from their own people. They are going beyond that criticism that they will get from their own people to say, I would still would want to do this. And it is not based on the fact that the person is just an ordinary person that I would want to do this way. Mm. It is because the person carries something that I think will not only be beneficial to me as an artist, but also to the kingdom of God, mm -hmm. to the kingdom that we are all preaching about. Mm. That is it they know the reason why they want it so they would push they would go that far because they in their minds of mind they will tell you this is not only to my benefit as an artist okay. but to whatever cause that we are all trying to push because they, they will tell you if you ask she will tell you if god says go and bring souls you don't enter into a church, friend, say, church and go and bring souls go to the church. Club. you go outside you go to the people that control those people and that is how you can win them so how do you expect us not to mingle with them mm. how do you expect us to move them out when even the god that we are even serving is saying they should come and mm. he will give them rest mm. you understand yeah so that is that is the sometimes the hypocrisy in the whole conversation so when somebody like ohima mercy comes like this to come and say some of these things and she's not the only person i think empress gifty has also said it among other, somebody like MOG has even collaborated with Sarkodie and Raskuk. Mm -hmm. You understand? Those people have broken that genes from their mind to, to know that, okay, we know the repercussions, we know what will come, we know how you people will react, but it is all to the betterment of whatever we are all fighting for. When Jesus Christ entered into the church and what took in and was slashing people, it is the same Bible that was telling him to forgive, but he lashed them. <laughs> And when you ask him, your mm -hmm. it would he will tell you it is all to the betterment of what we are all preaching, of what of what we are all pushing. You understand? So me, when people come out like this to to say this, 
I look at the person, okay, this is somebody that has served a lot. This is somebody that has seen almost all of it. Mm -hmm. Even is not is not a newbie in this game. Mm. In fact, if you are looking for somebody that has really paid her dues, even for her concerts that she does and whatever, there's somebody that has paid her dues in all aspects in the music industry. So if she's saying something, she knows what she's talking about. Mm. Mm. She knows what she's referring to. And look at the song that she chose and how she was able to twist the song from whatever understanding everybody has to suit whatever agenda she was just trying to mm. reach. Said so if you know your level in Christ, if you know your level in Christianity, you understand. So she knows what she's looking for. She knows what she's looking out for. That's why she. So when I hear people say this, I don't only see them as business. No, in fact, I see the real love there because they've been able to overcome those insults mm -hmm. they've been able to close their mind from those insults mm -hmm. those criticisms those mm -hmm. finger pointing mm -hmm. those uh, chastising and all of that to say yes still i want to do this with this person because whatever the person carries go be it goes beyond what you people are seeing mm -hmm. yeah so that mm -hmm. is real love for me mm -hmm. well i love this this is how we will draw the curtains down for today's edition of showbiz daily with my people here abbas muiz who is in the middle he is the boss of elevate gh event house promotion house uh, talent management and more and at the extreme end roland amate is also there from shagzi shatter movement empire and roland report both on youtube and rolandreport.com and also to the producers digital rasta karen sedate camera for us which Flex is the editor director of the show. My name is Sammy Flex. You can also add your opinions, views, and what are views to what we've talked about. And again, remember to subscribe to us and wait for some more conversations like this. I'll see you in our next video when we meet. Until then, we're out of here. Bye bye.